Hello everyone, I am Brigadier Naseem and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to teach you how to perform pathic and occlusion test to check leak in a bane circuit. So we have got this bane circuit and we are going to check the integrity of its inner thing. First of all, let me describe the different components of this circuit. We have got the reservoir bag, then we have the APN valve, then there are two tubes, the outer corrugated tube for expiration and inner tube is for inspiration. Then on this side we have this elbow piece and the mask. Okay. Now we are going to check the integrity of inner tube. So first of all I will attach this circuit to the common gas outlet. Then I will detach this thing. Okay. I am going to occlude the patient end of the tube and the APL valve. No, I will inflate the reservoir bag using the oxygen flash valve. Okay. I will remove the occlusion, open up this one and press the flush oxygen valve. If the inner tube is intact, this reservoir bag, it will collapse. So this collapse is because of the venturi effect, which I will explain. So if the inner tube is cracked or if there is any leak, so I have deliberately made a hole in the inner tube. Okay? So we are going to perform pathic test on this vein circuit whose inner tube or inspiratory tube is damaged. So the first step is I am going to attach this circuit to the common gas outlet. Then I will remove this elbow and mask. Then I will occlude the patient end of the tube and close the pop of valve. Now I am going to inflate this reservoir bag using this oxygen flush while keep this end closed. Okay, now this bag is distended. I will remove this occluded end and flush this circuit with oxygen flush. If this inner tube is intact, this bag will collapse because of venturi effect. And if there is a rent, there is a damage to the inner tube, this bag will remain distended. So I am going to flush oxygen while this end is open. So you can observe that there is no collapse of the bag. This is because the oxygen which is coming through the flush, through the inner tube, that, that gas is leaking through that damaged part and it is filling this reservoir bag, that's why this bag remains distended. Now I will explain how this Venturi principle works in this pathic test. We know that in pathic test, in the fourth step, when we unocclude or open the patient's end of the tube and flush the circuit with oxygen flush valve, the fresh gas passes with very high velocity through the inner tube. And when it comes out at the patient's end with high velocity, it creates negative pressure over here. Okay? So, 
this negative pressure it drags or sucks the gases which are present in the outer corrugated tube and the reservoir bag which is connected with the outer corrugated tube okay and that's why this reservoir bag it collapses so the gases which are passing through the inner inspiratory tube they are acting as a driving fluid and the gases from this outer corrugated tube and the reservoir bag they are the entrained fluid clear now what happens when the inner tube is broken the gases now instead of passing entirely or completely towards the patient and it leaks out of the inner tube through that broken part and it passes to the reservoir bag and this reservoir bag it remains distended with this gases which are coming out through the broken part of the tube to the reservoir bag so this reservoir bag remains distended so today we are going to perform occlusion test to check the integrity of inner tube of the brain circuit whether there is any leak or crack so for, for that i will attach the circuit to the common gas outlet close the valve and open the oxygen on the flow meter okay this is an adapter with this adapter i am going to occlude the inner tube that is the inspiratory tube if this circuit is leak proof when i occlude that inner tube this level of bobbin will drop and when i unocclude it it will again come up so you will notice i am going to block this inner tube you should notice that this bobbin falls down so i have removed it the bobbin comes up again because the pressure is generated backwards that's why the bobbin goes down when i occlude the inner tube i am going again going to occlude the inner tube so that bobbin is going down and when i remove it it goes up so this means that the inner tube is intact now i am going to perform occlusion test in a bench circuit and in this circuit the inner tube is damaged okay so the first step is i am going to attach this to the common gas outlet close the apl valve and then flush the bag i will open the oxygen flow meter okay so now i'm going to occlude the inner tube that is the inspiratory tube through which the fresh gas flow is coming if the inner tube is intact when i occlude this inner tube this is supposed to go down okay because the pressure is being generated backwards that's why this bobbin goes down if the inner tube is damaged when i occlude this will not go down and secondly when i unocclude it will again it will not come up again so i'm going to occlude it notice that there is no movement of bobbin on the flow meter because the gases are being leaked there and when i remove it there is no movement it is not coming back 